What's happening, everybody? Welcome and welcome back. If you've been here before, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. I'm taking you back to AGLS, and I'm going to be showing you guys my project. I'm going to go ahead and go in now. Um, I want to thank everybody that's been liking, subscribing, staying with the channel, coming back, and sharing the channel. I appreciate all of you guys and girls. Let's go ahead and go in. Got a couple of splash screens here. Black Adonis Games. All right, and I'm gonna briefly touch on uh, the changes that I've made to the project. All right, first, as you can see here, we have a menu. Uh, this is my generic menu for now. Um, I'm going to work on this menu. Uh, this is a sequence kind of borrowed from Lyra Starter Game. As you'll see, it will flip to another character. Uh, the same character, but in a different part of the scene. And I'll be working on that later. Next, let's go ahead and go into the actual project here. This is all done from about December. All right, I do have an auto glow control because the glow gets a little bright with the Lumina Nanite. So I did add that. So I'm testing that now. You guys are basically here along for the test. I have not played this since late December because I've been working on a lot of other projects. I'll be showing you guys all that, but I will be doing tutorials on this as soon as I get done with the Mutable. The Mutable series has been taking a lot of my time um, because I've had to break Mutable down. It's a little different than what I thought it was. Anyway, let's get into this. I got an eight-way dash system that I implemented here, so we can dash all kinds of ways. All right, all of the weapon systems, all of these still work. I did remove the crosshair system because to me it just was not, I don't know, I just didn't like it. Uh, I, I want the weapons to have a learning curve. So I also set it up so that, so that sometimes the enemies are actually injured by the weapon every now and then and it disrupts their fire. So as you can see, it's not able to just continuously shoot all the time then we got the pistol which also still works um i got rid of the grappling hook for now just was getting in my way all right i also added magic so we'll test that right quick and all of it has like i said a learning curve i also added uh dlss without dlss it is running at about 35 to 45 fps which is not bad for how much is going on this is actually a complete level with a test level on it so this is a very very uh large scale level here as far as how much is here you're just not seeing all of it all right i'm gonna go ahead and set this get a little screen flash there I'm gonna go ahead and go back so now this is with dlss this runs at about 60 fps it will go a little higher and a little lower and dip every now and then on uh, my sky system i'm using ultra dynamic sky i added unique deaths so i'll let you guys see one of those right quick you can see one over there there's one of them and then they just shoot in the air on death. And that's gonna be the death for some of the uh, enemies. Also, I did add my own uh, melee system. I will probably be changing this to uh, Combat Fury. I use motion matching and it works. Got a little kick in there even. Woo, I got killed. All right, I also added different factions. So you're gonna notice that some of the NPC are actually attacking each other and not just trying to attack me. Let me grab one of these other weapons here. It's <laughs> still doing that where it's like flipping the weapon out when I drop it, but. So there we go. Also see here, got a checkpoint you can actually throw magic while holding the weapon as well 
like I was saying, if you look back in those rocks, there is an entire level scaling across this map. It's not the most large map ever, but with the amount of uh, NPC I have running on here, um, it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. Quality is really good. Uh, everything's running really well. I use Niagara fluids actually for those flames. You can see the deaths there. And I've brought my death system over. I've had this death system for a while and I've just been working on it to make it better. Um, all of the controls feel very smooth and, and nice so far. Um, there's a few things I'd like to change, but for the most part, everything works as expected. Also do have a weather system here and the weather may change soon. Um, ultra dynamic sky Ooh, i got caught in that explosion you see so if those guys that are flying around on death if those bots explode near me oh man it takes a whole lot of health get out of there oh man i got lucky my health actually was at zero for a second all right now i do still have a lot of glitches i'm not gonna act like everything here is perfect because it's not you can see we have the save system and i spawned at the checkpoint Woo! killing myself here so now we got some snow and you're gonna see the snow tracks and i'm gonna try to clear this whole area out here just let you guys watch some combat and there are other levels that are attached to this level, like those rings that you're seeing inside of these buildings actually change to different levels. I believe I have three other levels attached to this. I'm not going to go to any of them right now. I'm just going to show this still building. They do have enemies and everything in the levels, but I'm just still working on them. So and they're just test levels. So you can see that the snow trails are working um i also even have a couple of uh magic projectiles that will actually melt the snow as they go across them like these and they don't always do it but they do it most of the time i did make the pickups so that they will vanish after a certain amount of time so that it removes clutter from the level so if you don't grab them in a certain amount of time then they will vanish There are missions. I do also have some NPC that you can talk to, but I don't have them. I'm gonna go with a different system, basically. I don't have them set up to speak or anything yet, but they just, a, a box appears and you can select your option or whatever. That dude's lighting me up. Trying to get him. They're gonna kill me. Get out of there. Combat got a little messy there. And I'm working on a lot of the projectiles and effects and for the sizes and, and all of those things and so it's gonna be a little time, it's gonna be a little time. But I did manage to maintain getting the glows down using the auto glow system that I put in so that when it's nighttime or raining or any time where the glow will increase, it actually decreases in the post-process volume. I, I turn the bloom down and that is why the weapons are looking a little better than I had them before. See the blood there. 
and these actually you can bounce them off the ground and still hit the enemy so those are these are really nice projectiles here from the rifle so there we go so for the most part that's those are all of the changes that i made um like i said we can go to different levels like i can go in here and this will take me to a different location um so we have a lot of uh, and i will show those things eventually i'm just not going to show them right now because i'm still working and like i said this entire level here is actually complete and the way i access it is up on top there you can see there's like a little portal up on the top that's where i would access the rest of the level but like i said i just wanted to show you guys the work that i've gotten done and like I said, the tutorials will be coming. I just got to get done with the mutable stuff first, and then we will get to these. I'll try to like slide them in between some of the mutables because the mutables are going to be pretty long series. So I'll try to get some of these AGLS tutorials in there as well. And that's pretty much it for this one. Like I said, man, thank you for stopping by. Like, subscribe, share the content. And make sure that you hit the notification so you notify when I drop a new video. I'm out. I'll be back with another one. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.